Now, I want to congratulate the honorable members of parliament on your stand on the Ebitingwa. That's what the Banyankwele call the, what they call homosexuals. Congratulations, I, I congratulate you for, for that strong stand. It is good that you rejected the pressure from the imperialists. And this is what I told them. Whenever they come to me, I say, you please shut up. Because this is a fight. They want you to, to, to become homosexuals and forget the other people, the women and and the and the bo and the, the boys what becomes of society europe is lost so they, they also want us to be lost but in order to fight we must be patriotic if we are parasitic in the mind a mind of a, of a parasite there's no way you can fight that's how you become a prostitute because you fear to sacrifice, you fear difficulties, somebody says, I will give you money if you become a prostitute. Those who, who, who like easy life end up as prostitutes. And that's what they want us to be. They want us to be, they want Africa to be prostitutes. Do what we don't believe in because we want money. But if you can't sacrifice, then you must be ready to become a prostitute. Do things you don't believe in because you want money. Now I am alerting you that if we, if we of course I'm, I'm advising our partners from the West, shut up, stop this nonsense. Temudamu kunti satisa. Then we should address the issue of the homosexual from our own understanding, not from the understanding of anybody else. And that what, that's what brings me to what I, I have been studying for, not, no, not continuously, but whenever the matter comes up, the issue of who is a homosexual. Is the homosexual genetic? Is it a genetic problem? Is it inherited? Is it hormonal imbalance? Is it that for some reason the hormones get disoriented in this particular person? Is it psychological? Because somebody may have no genetic reasons, may have no hormonal problems, but has got psychological problems, which, which makes him, him, him hate the people of the opposite sex, answer the issue the way we see it. So therefore, this original homosexual, before he starts re recruiting others, he is a psychological pervert. And this is where I have told the Western countries that we don't agree with you. Because for them they say, Homosexuality is an alternative way of life. There, there are two ways. There are two ways. You can be normal, heterosexual, or you can be homo, it is all right. And for us, we are saying no, 
Yes, we have heard of those homosexuals. Even before Europeans came here, we had a few names being mentioned. But now, we have discovered that they are psychological de deviants. Deviants. The ones who deviate from normal. They are deviants. So therefore, there is no way we can say this is an alternative way of life. So therefore, the question is, how do we handle this deviant? How do we handle him? He, 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 he himself. I think the correct way, if we discover him, would be to help him become normal again. I totally agree that this psychological poverty has no right to recruit others. And if he does that, it's, it's very criminal and he should be handled very, very, very firmly, including not castration as some of you are saying, but very harsh punishment. I totally agree there. The ones who bring money to promote, to do that, all of them must be handled very, very harshly. The ones who publicize and try to promote, because in Rinyankore, we say Nechimuga is like a, it's a disability, a psychological disability. Now, you cannot have a disability and you try to spread it to people who are, who, who, who are normal, who are not disabled, disabled. And then the ones who rape and all of that, those ones I totally agree that they should be hanged. Who, who rape homosexually. The, the ones who promote, publicize, all those should be handled very, very harshly. There I totally agree. In that way, you know me, I am a guerrilla. I am surrounding the enemy. You don't spread, you don't spread your, you are disabled, you are disabled psychologically. Something went wrong with you. But you have no right to recruit. If you recruit, I punish you. You have no right to publicize. If you publicize, I punish you. You have no right to rape, but like those who rape young children, so those should be hanged. I totally agree they should be hanged. We can fight. This is a simple matter. But parasites can't fight. Parasites, if you think all of yourself, more money for me, more money for you can't fight. You can't fight. So in order for you to fight, I want to cure you of parasitism. And be ready to sacrifice. I am here. I am now 79 almost. I have been sacrificing. I have never regretted.